Good afternoon all. Well, I'm just approaching the monument on the top of Coombe Hill where there is a spectacular view. So this is the monument and it's a monument to a war in South Africa. Let's just get up a little bit closer. Uh, so this is 1899 to 1902. But there's a quite magnificent view here really 180 degrees around Aylesbury there straight ahead and then on this side Wendover and uh, just down there in the valley is Chequers the uh, Prime Minister's country residence the sun's not really in the right direction to get a good view of that though but uh, what I want to do up here is use this Ordnance Survey triangulation point to mount my FPV transmitter and then I'll wander off down one of these uh, routes to see how far the transmission extends with the receiver. So here's my little transmitter complete with a video camera, also has a microphone on there and the antenna and some batteries and the receiver I'm going to use is this diversity uh, 5.8 gig receiver with twin aerials. Now I did try doing this the other day holding the camera and the receiver at the same time but to be honest it was all a bit Heath Robinson and it didn't help that it was raining. Right we're starting to get some break up of the image now. Now the image is really poor anyway because let me turn back towards the monument. The monument's up there but it's covered in mist. Yeah the image is fine let's keep going. What distance have we got Brett? 90 meters. 90 meters. So now at 150 meters and it's mostly snow. Right, today is not the day for this because the uh, monitor receiver thing here is absolutely uh, soaking wet. So I'm abandoning today. I'll return on a better day. So now I've come up with this contraption, which is a metal bar. The uh, receiver monitor is up at the end. And here there's a little clamp for my mobile phone, so let's clamp it in there. So this is how it's going to work. Uh, the tripod conveniently is triangular footed, so it fits exactly into the, uh, the grooves in the triangulation point. And then my camera will sit on top of the tripod just to raise the antenna a little bit above the uh, metal plate there and then I'll go wandering off down into the uh, distance I'll need a helper to make sure the, micro uh, the camera is not tampered with and I'll wander off down there and uh, check the range. Now with this contraption I can uh, look at what's on the screen of the monitor while also pointing the camera into the distance to show where I'm walking there are some issues today because it's sunny uh, with the camera not really picking up the image on the monitor because of the difference in light levels. So this is how it's going to work. I'm going to go wandering off with this gadget. You'll see me moving away from the camera as I start to walk down the grass. But I get to see whether the receiver loses signal. I also get to point this back at the monument to show how far I am away from it. I think it's going to work, but I need the right kind of weather. And then I'm going to use this uh, Garmin GPS unit to measure distance from the transmitter to the receiver, which I'll be carrying. So I'll also be carrying this unit. Um, now I've managed to coax it. That's a map. Now if I say go to and then select the TX transmitter, that's that waypoint that I've set up. This should tell me how far I am from the transmitter. I've actually moved a little distance from it now, 490 meters, so I'm half a kilometer from that triangulation point. But this is what I'm going to use to measure the distance that the signal uh, can reach from the transmitter to the receiver before it all starts to break up. Also I could really do with a helper here because I don't really want to leave the camera here on the monument because things with wires and batteries, well they do tend to frighten people don't they? So I'm going to come back on an overcast day when the light levels are going to work a bit better 
and also with someone to stand by the transmitter so that it doesn't vanish while I'm filming and uh, try and do these range tests. So no range testing today because uh, I don't think the lighting is right. Perfect for uh, getting nice views. But uh, I'll be back in a day or two with a helper and uh, on a day when it's dull overcast which I think will give me the best chance of seeing the LCD monitor and I'll start doing these uh, these range tests. Cheerio!